Uh, today I'm going to be very frank with you. I used to think that Miami, this city, was a place to be avoided at all costs. <laughs> and this is, uh, of course, many years ago. And look who's talking, a Haitian artist. But today I truly believe that this city has evolved and it might become an example of where this country ought to be. I mean, extrapolating or going. Anyways, to prove my futuristic uh, perspective and um, how would I say it? First of all, we have to admit that artists are all futurists. Here are three of our observations uh, that I've made uh, uh, concerning this city and uh, uh, how it is uh, preliminary to what this country might be, where this country might be heading to. First of all, let's analyze where we, uh, we are placed. We are, Miami is central to two hemispheres, and it's also projecting in a cultural boiler, which is the Caribbean. Because maybe of where we are placed, Miami has learned and, uh, not to frown uh, on its diversity and accept its vibrant immigration. And uh, it also capitalize on, its, on these assets. And uh, a great proof, uh, an artistic proof of this is probably me. I have uh, been uh, commissioned by the city elders to place at the entrance of the port of Miami one of the most important of Haitian voodoo goddesses, Erzuli Freida. Um, here she is. She, that sculpture has two faces, one, out, one uh, giving to the sea. She's a true Janus head, for example, to start with. She uh, projects out to sea her mother, motherly face, but looking at the city, she's, uh, she's more of the coquettish uh, courtesan. That city, uh, that, I mean, it's quite amazing. I'm a Haitian artist, and here I am. I have placed a, a voodoo goddess at the entrance of the Miami River. <laughs> that is quite uh, something. But, uh, I mean, she's there to protect all visitors and all residents. But truly what she represents for me is that you know, like this, that this city, she's a symbol of assimilation in this city. That's what she is for me. The second uh, example of how this, I see this city as a true city of the future is in the way that uh, many neighborhoods in Miami have been revitalized. And this through the prism of uh, art. Okay? Many cities have been revitalized uh, neighborhoods. But this city can boast, and truly I've looked around, it can boast that it's because of its artists, its local artists, and their singular uh, contributions and their creative leadership. Two examples of this are here in Miami Beach. One is the Art Center, at the, and the other one is the Miami uh, the New World Symphony. Both of these institutions have uh, a transformed Lincoln Road and its vicinity into you know, like one of the most vibrant pedestrian malls and vibrant you know, like areas in this city. Um, a, the New World Symphony in its new facility will become a cutting edge, uh, world-class institution in a category all of its own, presenting classical and contemporary music in the state-of-the-art fac facilities. Last but not least is the what was considered the no man's land, the, uh, the neighborhood of Little Haiti, which is being transformed as we speak. And this, again, through the prism of art. The third example uh, of where uh, I think the city is very particular is in, in the fact that it's attracting, attracting very intelligent institutions. And one, the one I want to highlight tonight is a particular one called the uh, Young Adults uh, National Program. That particular institution has for a uh, mission the identifying of uh, a, and nurturing of very young a, artistic geniuses, and this at a national level. Well, with all of this, uh, I would like you to open your minds and to embrace the creative side of your brains, let's say, and uh, realize that the arts have been transformative in this city much more than just beautiful works of art and extraordinary architectural structures, this city might represent you know, like where in, in this nation might be going. And this is thanks to, one, cultural, uh, multicultural assimilation, two, revitalization of neighborhoods, 
and whichever they are. And third, the, in, uh, the growth of truly intelligent institutions. When next you are thinking about looking where the city, uh, where projections about the city and where it is going, please uh, have the decency and uh, remember to consult a local artist because, I mean, we are just a little bit more than just passive paints and paintbrushes. <laughs> you know, we truly have sometimes great visions. Thank you.